Welcome to Scorched Earth Toys at AnyMoon.com's review of Bandai's DX slash Robot Spirits Koenig Monster. This is the special version, meaning it has the nose art already pre-applied. Um, it also comes with this blue display stand, or the blue base to the display stand, I should say. All models come with the clear display stand that is currently connected to this base. The base is nice, uh, but clearly pretty basic. Uh, along with that, you also get a very fancy box, but that'll probably be gratuitous for most collectors. So, let's talk about the toy itself. As you can see, it's got a lot of pre-painted detail on it. It's, uh, you know, not jarringly bright colors for the most part. Very militaristic paint scheme. Um, you know, with the possible exception of the very flashy nose art. And let's move the toy from the stand. The toy it gets attached to the stand via these two slots here. Here is the basic stand, which would do fine just on the ground. And so, here is the toy. As you can see, holds together great. Nothing flopping around here. The uh, toes can be angled, uh, but this is the angle you're supposed to have them at, I believe. Uh, and that's really it. There is no no landing gear, uh, no uh, missile feature that you might be familiar with from the uh, Macross VFX games. Uh, I would not be familiar with. I've never played them, but I hear there is a missile feature. Uh, so this is it. What you see is what you get. Shuttle mode holds together great, but there's not much to it. So let's move on to the more iconic uh, Gerwalk style mode, which probably isn't called Gerwalk mode, but I don't think that's really important. So let's move on. So here is the most iconic mode you're going to get this toy into. As you can see, it's mean looking. Plenty of detail still on there. Looks pretty, looks aggressive, but it also has some nice features to it. Not only can it hold its arms up, obviously, with no problems, but they are actually ratcheted joints and clicky in some cases. So that's nice. And you've got, obviously, a full range of motion. you got a joint there, a joint there, and a spinner over there. So you can do pretty much anything with the arms here to get it into a good battle pose. There's also, it's a little difficult to see, but a gun underneath the nose that goes back and forth. So if you want to pretend you're mowing people down, you can lift the leg up a little bit and there's a swivel point of articulation there. So if you want to have a pose where one leg is out, that is certainly an option. Makes it look a little more aggressive there. Okay. So, alright, so what about uh, features that uh, beyond that. There's only one that I can really speak of and it looks like it's kind of a failed feature. This trap door here comes out and it's supposed to rest against I believe the ground and provide support as the big cannons fire. But as you can see it doesn't really get low enough to do any of that. Uh, it's still cool that it's there but you would have to have it like butting up against a wall for it to be really useful. So, uh, obviously, mean looking toy. Holds poses really well in this mode. Nice and tight. A couple nice features to it. Uh, you can angle these down if you wanted to. I don't know why you ever would. It would be kind of funny looking. But uh, let's move on now to uh, Batroid mode. Okay, here we have Batroid mode. Again, I might not be using the right terms. I forget what each mode is called on this rather unique beast. But anyways, here it is. And it's pretty impressive. I, I was kind of uh, worried at first. The There is no hip articulation. So I thought that was going to doom this toy. There's also no waist. So you need to know those two things right off the bat. The head does turn left and right. Which you should expect at this price point. Again, the shoulders... And the arms have a phenomenal amount of ratcheted articulation. So whatever you want to do, 
it shouldn't be these joints holding you back. Alright, so what can you do to mitigate the fact you've lost hips on this toy? Well, you still do have the ability to pitch the leg out. So at least you've got that going for you. You also can bring back this hip section, or not hips, I guess it's kind of your back of your knee section. You bring that back, and now you have a knee joint. And you can do quite a bit with those knee joints. You could also bring them forward a little bit and sort of simulate a running type pose. And since you do have so much foot articulation, you should be able to pull off some rather dynamic poses, as I'm kind of failing to do here. All right, so there you go. There he is in kind of a running pose. Now you could obviously do quite a bit of other stuff. It's all up to your imagination, uh, but you're not going to be able to do quite a bit also because of the lack of hips and waist. That doesn't mean it's a rigid toy. That's what I'm trying to get at here. You can have some fun with it. The barrels can go straight up and you can get them to stand at attention. I don't know really why you'd want to do that, just to make it more of a boring toy. Sure, why not have a boring toy. The arms, if you're looking at them right now, going like, ah, they look like they're too long. You can move them however long you think they should be. Uh, that's about it. There's no real special features in Batroid mode. Just the fact that there is some articulation is pretty special. And it holds together nice and tight, which is something the Unimata toy just didn't do. It always collapsed on me whenever I tried to have fun with it. And that's why I no longer own the Yamato toy. But I like this toy, and I will be keeping it. And I think that kind of says what this review needs to say. This is a much better toy than the original Yamato toy. It's a uh, 1 110 scale, roughly. Um, in line with the Robot Spirits line of toys. Uh, but it looks good next to something like a 148 VF1 or some of the newer 160 toys. So, if you're on the fence about this toy, it is solidly built, has metal internals, has good articulation for uh, this type of toy, certainly nothing like the VF1 toys out there. Uh, and it, it just looks imposing on a shelf. I recommend it. Visit anymoon.com for uh, comparisons to the Yamato toy, and also uh, lots of pictures of this toy on the stand and in dynamic poses. Thank you for viewing. Bye.